Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can build a fully functioning e-commerce website looking like this. Absolutely free, do it yourself, don't spend any money on it and host it free forever. Moreover, during this video, I will also share some free HTML codes so you can use them on your e-commerce website built with a new Google site. So if you are someone who is looking how to create your web presence regardless whether that's a blog site, e-commerce store, any landing pages, sales funnels, and you want to do it yourself and you want to save money, you want to do it for free, do subscribe to this channel as we teach you how you can build all sort of websites, sites and pages absolutely free by using a Google site and other third party softwares. So if that's something you are interested to do, consider to subscribe and click notify a bell so you get notified whenever we upload new videos and we do so every single week. So before we jump in, let's have a quick look here on a team forest and as you can see, you can buy a loads of a preset teams costing you $1,000, $400 and so on. There's a lot of money to be spent here and then again, you need somebody who will set all of this for you because as you might know, if you don't like this team, and a purchase and download this team and then set it up on your WordPress, it won't look right away like that. So you would need some developer who can do the work for you. So during this video, I will show you how you can build very similar teams like this and you can do it yourself and absolutely free. So to get started, let's jump on a Google sites and we are going to use a blank page to start building our e-commerce. First of all, let's name our document as free e-commerce store that's how your site will be saved on your Google Drive. Then I will go ahead and choose the team. For this video, I will be using team called Level and I will set my custom color right here. Okay, for the header, we will change header type to be title only and we will call our store Merit Fit and we will be using a fitness clothing as example for this page. Now let's go ahead and insert the image slider just as we can see on this page right here. To do so, let's click on insert, scroll down to image carousel, then you can upload images from your computer. So I have saved mine on documents. Okay, so here are the three images. You can select them all at once then you have options on your settings here you can show the dots on this slide you can show captions and you can also set the transition speed now i would like to put it on auto start and set it as fast so the images would be moving around quite quickly then you just adjust your element on the screen depending how wide you want it to be Okay, as you can see, I have set three images, so I have three dots right here. Next, we're going to ahead and insert some buttons. So this button is one of my uh, custom HTML codes I will be sharing with you during this video. Just keep watching. So once you have access to any HTML codes to embed them on a Google site, you can double click, select embed and then click on embed code, uh, paste your code, click next and here you will see a little preview and then you just click insert. As with other elements, you can uh, position and stretch them depending on how you want them to show, how big it you want it to be and where you want it to be on your uh, page. Now I will uh, change uh, this uh, background to be dark and here as well so to change background you click on this little icon right there and select color depending on your team you can also set image as your background so and today i'm just going to set this color as black next we are going to add some more images to add image again you can double click and then click on upload and select images from your computer or you can go here from the side and click on images or choose on one of the preset layouts. So I would like to choose this one and that will give me a placeholders where I just go and upload image. As next section, we will be adding some text, double click and click on the text icon, paste your text. Okay, you have wide options of how you can style your text right here up above. Again, I will change the background color and then add some more images by using one of the placeholders again. So this placeholder works for both images and the text underneath at the same time. So you can upload your images and then set up your text. 
Here I will go ahead and add a price. Let's say this top will cost $9.99. And then just paste it on all other tabs. Now I will just do a small footer. To do footer, you scroll down on the bottom, click on add footer. This feature will then add a footer on every page on your site. You do have option to hide them on specific pages. Now I will first insert my social media icons by embedding a code. Again, this is one of the codes I will share with you in just a second. Now click insert and we have our social icons. And then I will add text next to it, call it Let's Get Social and that's my footer done. Now I would like to add another page and show you how to do the single product. So if I click on this plus icon right here, you can option to adding the pages. You can also add a links or a new menu section. So I will just add a new page here and call it as a shop. So as you can see, it's very easy to design just drag and drop images, text, embed uh, code, and that's it. So here, as I said, you have a footer and you can hide it if you don't want to show it on the particular pages on your site. So for the shop now, let's go ahead and insert the image of single product, add some a text element to display the product details. We can also change our header type here and if you want to uh, add some image you can choose it as a banner, large banner or cover. I will just keep it as a title only and then I will insert the button here, add to the cart as an embed code. Again one of those codes I will share with you in just a second. Now insert and adjust the position. Now in terms of a payment as you might be wondering where is it all heading, there are several options how you can set up a payment on your Google site. Okay, so I have done a separate video all about it. I will link it right there. Link will be also in the description of this video. So you can definitely set up payments on Google sites and choose whichever method you prefer. You have options of redirecting your buttons to the payment pages. You can also set up a PayPal product or a used card in your checkout. So that's all are possible. So as I said, if you need more details about it, then you can watch this video right here and you can find the link in the description box. Now to save all the changes we have done and for our site to become live, we need to click on a publish and you can see your URL that's how your site URL looking right now. If you wish, you can set up your custom domain and no one will ever know you have built your e-commerce store by using Google Sites because default URL will do displaysites.google.com but you can set up a custom domain here as well and again, I have done a separate tutorial all about it and you can find the link in the description box below. Now click on publish and your site is live. So as you can see, it does not take any time. You can easily drag and drop all the elements you want. And if you are interested to how to use all the elements available here, again, we have done many videos already about it. So just browse through our channel and find which one you are looking for. Now, as I promised, a free HTML code you can use on your site. So if you head to a landing dot meritmastering.slash request dash code dash tutorial you will land on the page like this where you will be able to download several html codes including a contact forms all sorts of uh, buttons and special effects on your products that you could use on your e-commerce store so all you have to do is come to a landing.meritmastering.com slash request dash code dash tutorial enter your email address and you will have access to all these codes right here and just before i leave you if you are wondering where you can get some stock media for your site because as i said you can also change these uh, backgrounds to be used as images not just plain colors there's a great site called canva.com if you come to a canva you will be able to find all sorts of uh, photos elements text elements or even audios videos different backgrounds even gif uh, files everything that you might need to design your your site you can find it here they do have a free version if you would like to assess all the pro premium version on this site i will leave the link on the description box and you can try it out free for 30 days canva is really great for all web designing needs and as you can see on the elements section you have access not only photos audios and things like that but also all sorts of elements shapes lines and graphics and so on so do come here and try it out for yourself thank you so much for watching 
watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments section down below. I will try to answer as soon as I can. And I will see you in the next video. If you will click subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button as well. I will see you soon. And now you can go ahead and watch this video about how to set up payments on your new Google Sites e-commerce store.